this rookery, um, it was actually around the corner by the light station where the very first elephant seal pumps were born. But the, these two beaches are the biggest and the widest and they quickly became the ones that were most populated. But in the old days when this started in the early 90s, it, it's kind of, it looks like it did on the south side where there's a bunch of dunes. So these dunes went down into the beach and then there was a road, the coast highway, and people would just pull over and stop and crawl into the dunes and get down on the beach. They'd put their kids on a seal and try to take a picture. And after a few years, it was chaos. It was total chaos. It completely blocked the highway because there was no place to pull off. Now there's a little bit, there was no place to pull yeah. off. And so they just stopped their cars and get out and then jump the fence. There was a fence and they put up, they tried putting up white stakes. I'll pass this around. You they can tried see some putting of those up great pictures. big rocks. They tried putting up signs, yeah. but the people wanted to go down and see these. They, they didn't know what they were. None of us knew what they were. Not that anybody had ever seen. And they, they just run right down onto the beach. Yeah. And so it just created a really, really difficult situation here. And so over time, and with the local community here, this organization, Friends of the Elephant Seals, started sending people down here to try to get people to stay off the beach. And we had signs, as Diana was saying. There was all kinds of things to try to get them, but it really wasn't successful at all. Everybody did their best, but you can't patrol it 24-7. So to make a long story short, there, this land belonged to the Hearst uh, Ranch at that time and they really didn't do much with it. Um, Caltrans, of course, is responsible for the road and then there's state parks. So over a, a group of years, it's kind of a phenomenal thing. It's a real success story. State parks, the Hearst Ranch, Caltrans, anybody I'm forgetting? And, uh, friends, of the and friends of the Elephant Seal. Everybody got together and they they did a land swap. So state parks swapped land with the first ranch. They got this whole area here and um, became responsible for it. And then Hearst got a different piece of land from state parks. Caltrans built the pullout, this parking lot, which is great. And they're responsible for that parking lot. And eventually state parks put in this nice boardwalk here. They started on the south side. That was the first side. And then about five or six years wow, later. That's how big yeah. they are. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it is tough because it's a rookery. So they don't want to go down and disturb the seals, the rest of the seals while they're trying to help one. Um, another thing that I brought to show you was the range of this rookery. It's about eight or nine miles long. These just happen to be the best viewing points, but I don't know how far north you're going today. Oh, we're going all the way. Okay, so... Um, so we'll be at Pages Blancas after you guys. Okay, oh, the light station? Oh, great. Way north of that is a place called Arroyo de la Cruz, and that's part, like the most north for our rookeries, elephant seals. And then it goes all the way down, and this is across from Hearst Castle down to the south, and that's San Simeon, the uh, cove and the pier. This is affectionately called the uh, loser's beach or bachelor's beach. <laughs> so during the breeding season, when the males fight over the females, you have a winner and a loser. This is where the losers end up. And <laughs> they, they need a place to kind of rest and heal up. They're just kind of been bruised and battered around a bit. So they end up at this cove. We have another group of docents down here because this is a public beach. There are people, dogs, all kinds of stuff. And so they're down there trying to keep people away. They look kind of like a log. They're not moving necessarily too much. Um, and people don't notice them. But when they do move, they can move very quickly. And if they want to fight with another male down there, it happens very quickly. And it, you know, they can just, it can be a problem with humans or animal interaction down there. So th that's a real uh, kind of a sensitive beach in uh, December, January, February. Tourists seem to think that because they're on the beach, they must be friendly. Yeah. And they'll want to take their little kids down and get a selfie oh, no. with them. And out, she'll be telling me not to go. And my husband's going around like this. Yeah. This tourists are just something else down there. Yeah. Up here, they, they, 
figure it out. Not down there. They figure, okay, those are 